Hello, welcome to Advent Adventures as we continue into the Christmas season. Today is December 28th. On the church calendar, it's the Feast of the Holy Innocents, and it's the fourth day of Christmas. And today, I'd like to reflect on another character from the Old Testament who helped prepare the way for the coming of the Lord Jesus so that he might help us prepare to welcome Christ more fully into our lives. I'd like to reflect on a man called Samuel, who has a unique position in ancient Israel of having been the last of the judges, those charismatic leaders that God raised up for the Israelites during times of struggle and difficulty, and the first of the prophets who spoke to the people for God. That's what a prophet does. It's one who speaks for God. What I want to reflect on is the story of Samuel as a young man, because he did an awful lot during his time, including he was the one that anointed Saul and David as king. And there's a lot to talk about, but I I just want to talk about his youth. He was a miraculous birth that we heard about during Advent. His mother, Hannah, had been unable to have children, and that was a great sorrow to her. And one day when her husband and his other wife and children and Hannah came to Shiloh, they came to offer sacrifice to God as they did every year. And Hannah goes into the presence of God, into the portable temple that they had at the time, and prays there. And Eli, the old priest, sees her praying. She's crying and she's mouthing words, but she's not speaking out loud. And he thinks she's drunk. And he comes and upbraids her for that. She says, no, my Lord, no, no, no. I'm pouring out my sorrow to God. And Eli says, may God bless you, and may he hear your prayer. Well, he did. And in the next year, Hannah would conceive and bear a son whom she would name Samuel. And when he was old enough, just a young boy, Hannah came with her husband and all of his other children and other wife, And they came to Shiloh, and in an agreement with her husband, they gave Samuel to God to do whatever it is that God asked of him. And and so he became an attendant in the temple and, and very devoted to the old priest Eli. Well, along the way when Samuel was probably somewhere 12, 14, somewhere in there, He's asleep one night, and he hears a voice calling him, Samuel, Samuel. And so he gets up thinking it's Eli who needs something, and he runs to Eli and says, what is it? And Eli says, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. It happens again. And the third time, Eli is wise enough to say, maybe it's God calling you. And if you hear that voice again a fourth time, Say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You know what? That's exactly what happens. And that's the beginning of Samuel being able to hear the voice of God to become the spokesperson for God. And you and I who have been baptized, who are christened as a priest and a prophet and a king, are all called to speak for God in this world. But we need to be able to listen first. And I think Samuel is a model and kind of the patron saint of those who are willing to listen for God. And so I would invite us on this fourth day of Christmas to give some thought to listening to God. You know, do you have something that nags you? (laughs) Because like Samuel's call where God kept calling him, you know, four times that night before he finally listened I think God tends to do the same thing to us all. You know, he nags at us to get our attention until we finally are willing to listen. You know, but I'm going to say, Samuel, as the patron saint of those who listen to God, is a good example for us during this Christmas season. 
For the Lord Jesus has come into this world and has called us to be his followers. May we learn to listen to him. May we attune our ears to the sound of his voice, to the word of his promise, that through the scripture or the voice of others or however it is that God chooses to speak to us, that you and I will be able to say like Samuel, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And may God give us the grace to do whatever it is that God asks of us. Have a blessed Christmas season.